This video is recording is on belt merge and it is explaining how to use an existing document and merging that existing document with the data source. So my document is here, I have it open here. Now I'll need to go into the tab called mailings. I can click on these select recipients and I can actually go find my data source. My data source is the County Yard and Medical Plaza. It's a database. I'm going to select the employees table and click on OK. Now something happens when you do this because if you if you did not notice, you can notice now the edit recipient list is no longer grayed out. The address block is no longer grayed out. The greeting line is no longer grayed out and the insert merge fields are no longer grayed, are grayed out. That means that my data source and my main document are, car, are talking to each other. Now I have to go into my data source and I need to just select certain records. I'm just going to do a quick and dirty way of doing this. I'm only looking for accounting and marketing departments. So I'm just going to go here and do a quick sort of sending by accounting, uh, excuse me, by department. And I'm just going to deselect everything, which means I I'm, I'm don't want to work with any of these, but I am going to select the ones I do want to work with. So these are everybody in accounting, and these are everyone in marketing. Everything else I'm going to leave without a check mark. This is the indication that I just want to use these five records. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, in order for me to insert these records, um, I need to set up some tabs real, right quick. This is just a little housekeeping. I'm just going to go here right quick and set up my tab. I'm on the left tab 125. I want to be left, I want to set it, and I'll click on OK. And then I'm going to click behind name, and I am going to go back to my mailings uh, tab, and now I'm going to insert the documents, the, insert the merge fields. And the first thing I want to do is put in the title, put a comma behind the title, a space, then insert the first name, space, insert the last name. I'm going to go behind employee number, tab over, and I'm going to insert my employee number. Go behind department, I'm going to tab over, insert my department, and I'm going to click behind the date, tab over. <clears throat> and I am going to go to my insert tab because I want to insert a date and time. And this is the format that I want, the January 25, 2017. I'm going to make sure it's not going to update automatically. So if it is a check mark there, I'm going to remove it and click on OK. And this is where we are. Now, I have to go back to mailings, the tab calls mailings, because my next step is to preview my documents, each one. This is even before I begin to merge the process. So if I click on preview, I can see their names here. I can uh, click on the first record, the second record, third record, fourth record, and fifth record. Notice that I'm also still in my main document. Now the next part is to merge the documents. So I come over here to finish and merge. Click on edit individual documents. I want all of them merged. So I'm going to click on OK. And this time I am not in my main document. I am actually in the merged document. So this file that I get to save now is going to be a merge file. Here's each one of my recipients. Now I want to save this recipient, 
So it's going to ask me, do you want to save it? I want to yes. I'm, I'm going to save it in the same area here, but I'm going to say this is my merged document. So this is the merge one. I'm going to click on OK. When I click on OK, I am back into my main document. Now the thing is, my preview is still on. So what I want to do is turn my preview off because that's the indication that I'm in. I'm in my main document, and now I want to save it. So when I close this up and go back and open it up, it's going to indicate that I have a document. I have a recipient list that's attached to the document. All I want to do is click on yes, and I can use this over and over and over again. I hope this helps you understand the mail merge process when you have a main document and a data source that already exists.